So I went a little bit crazy. Okay, so if you've watched any of my recent videos, uh, I'm obviously getting really into LEGO RC. I wasn't really sure how to feel about LEGO RC in, in the modern day with the, the powered up system and touch controls in the phone and all that kind of stuff. And even the power function system had its limitations. So it was kind of a breakthrough when I figured out that I could use my FlySky pistol grip controller to use with them. So I started watching more and more videos on them and finding things that I wanted to build. One of which is from the YouTube channel Nico's Technic Creations. I believe that's what it's called. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, he has instructions to build a twin steer. And this is actually one of the trucks that's in the game Snow Runner, which is a, one of my favorite games. I've definitely put over 600 hours into that game. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun to just kind of drive around in trucks and, and you can winch other trucks and use cranes and haul logs and just yeah, a little bit of everything, but it's, it's just a fun way to pass the time and something you can kind of work on while you're maybe watching a, a, another video or TV show or whatever. So when I saw this build, I'm like, I really want to build that. <laughs> and he also has a lot of other really cool stuff on his channel. So if you haven't checked it out before, uh, the link will be in the description. There's still a lot of older videos that I need to go through because I'm definitely inspired by the stuff he's done recently. And then I was watching uh, videos on the official Booz channel. And I, you know, I recently got my Booz 3.0 with uh, two of the buggy motors. So that'll be fun to start implementing into builds. But the problem I had, you know, once I started looking at all these sets and looking at the pieces in them is I had none of these pieces. <laughs> it's kind of surprising to look at Technic sets from 10 years ago and now. And while they may look the same from the outside, it's all just studless construction. The pieces have actually changed quite a bit once you get into the details. So I went into kind of a buying frenzy. <laughs> so this is all stuff. This is from Mercari, from eBay, Amazon. I bought some stuff for my younger brother. <laughs> and so this has kind of been building up for a while. And with the exception of one set, everything was either was below retail, was used. Um, you know, I got good deals all the way around. Normally in like my kind of vintage Lego Dacta hauls and stuff like that, I will give you the final price that I paid. It was just a lot of work to do it for all of these packages. I'm just uh, itching to get them open and start working on these. Some of these I have opened. I'm going to show some sets that already came in. So the only set that I did buy at full retail is the uh, McLaren F1. And I did do a quick little video on this. So time to scrap it for parts. Anybody want some stickers? So uh, a, lot of, a lot of cool pieces in there. Mainly I had the FOMO and I had to get the Blacktron set. <laughs> so I had to spend over, what was it, 190 whatever it was. So with that being said, uh, let's start tearing into this stuff, see what kind of condition it arrived in, because again, most of it's used or open boxes or different things like that. So it should be interesting to, to see what all we got here. Okay, to make this all manageable, I'm gonna start with the smaller packages. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, this is all the pneumatic tubing that I got from eBay. Um, there's basically one seller that seems to have a, quite a bit of this stuff. Um, so this is two quantity two, um, one solid piece, but the sections that he sells them in, I ordered two of each. So I got uh, blue, yellow, and black. And yes, this is RC related. <laughs> I'll give you an example. Check out the YouTube channel PMC. He built a mod of the AirTech claw rig and he has an, uh, instructions for two different versions. One with a, uh, mold King, uh, hub. And controller and then one with uh, two boo is 2.0 but uh, it's an absolutely awesome build and even his he's got a video on trailers too that's <laughs> quite amazing so be sure to check that out um, this is one from Amazon you guys probably know I'm not crazy about them so I, I got an s brick this is actually uh, I got two of these <laughs> so this is the I guess the original s brick um, but I also ordered an s brick Plus, I believe it is the one that can read from the we do 1.0 sensors and stuff like that uh, so now I've got two of these to play around with and uh, see how they compare and and these work with the brick controller app so that'll be fun to play with too all right now we're getting into the boxes um, to be quite honest I don't <laughs> remember which one this is Okay, yep, so this is the, uh, the Corvette. Uh, the main thing I needed from these were like the, these panels, 
or mud guards, whatever you want to call them. Um, you know, all these sets have pieces I probably don't have, so that's why I was just kind of picking up all kind of stuff. So we've got a airbag. Cool. Yeah, even uh, separated by color uh, for the most part. And all black pieces there. Yeah. Very cool. And yeah, like this uh, this blue guy here, I don't have very many of these, um, so these will be coming in some of the new sets. Um, my collection is pretty old school, so it'll be nice to get these parts in my inventory. All right, here's another one. Not from Amazon, obviously. Look, when... Amazon tape. I, I got really screwed over by Amazon tape like this. Because what people do, I'm opening this from the bottom. And people will reuse prime boxes and not retape the bottom. It looks like maybe they sort of did here. Do not do not trust this. Uh, I had a whole box about this big with five computer video cards in them. And as they were bringing it up to the shop I worked at, I had my packages delivered there. The bottom fell out. All of it hit the ground. One of those video cards had a water cooler on it. <laughs> and luckily it didn't leak. I was able to resell it later because I, I just wanted to play with it and then and then uh, resell it. So don't trust existing tape. There we go. Yes. I almost expected to see a controller because, you know, again, I'm old school. A couple pieces falling off. But yeah, this is the... Uh, Top Gear Rally Car, so that's another Technic Hub. Two l size motors. And uh, yeah, that's another hub with uh, with clips that doesn't have uh, the screws. Yeah, and that looks uh, just fine inside. So another one to, I'll play around with this with the, with the remote and see how it does. Um, and then uh, this one will probably be scrapped for parts or Maybe I'll try to do some upgrades or mods or something. Um, there's another new uh, differential. That's probably about it in this one, but uh, got a pretty good deal on it, so I picked that up. Okay, starting to get into the bigger boxes here. Yes, okay. Uh, and you never really know. Some of these will ship uh, assembled and some not. This is obviously assembled. So this is the Raptor. Um, looks like they did use the stickers. Uh, that's another thing you don't really know about, um, unless they have good pictures, you know, to see what it, what you're getting. Um, but this has some cool pieces, and there are instructions to do a uh, Buiz upgrade. I, I believe there is. I know there was a video on it. I'm not 100% sure on the instructions. Um, but yeah, it's got some uh, some cool pieces, the steering stuff and suspension and shock absorbers. Um, so that was another cool one. Again, most of these I'm, I'm going to disassemble, build, and then uh, a lot of them will just be scrapped for parts. All right, I'm really running out of room off camera here. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so I actually bought whoop, two copies of this set um, to get this tire with this color uh, wheel, it uh, only comes in this set, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I think the you know the hubs, like I said, come in different colors. But I needed eight of them in order to build Nico's twin steer. So I bought one copy of the set, brand new from Amazon. Again, it was actually below retail, uh, like forty-two dollars instead of fifty. And then this one I bought used. And let's see how. This one looks inside. Oh, okay, I see. I always 
flip it open like that, but <laughs> partially assembled. <laughs> so you can kind of see what all it comes with there. And um, I was actually didn't think about it initially. You get five tires <laughs> per truck because uh, there's a spare on the back. So that actually could be another axle. Again, if I wanted to build a snow runner truck, some have three axles on the rear and then two on the front. So that would be fun. Oh, there's our instructions. So. so we're getting through these pretty quick here. There's not a whole lot to say about these, but. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Almost. <sighs> Looked over my lights and screwed up my back even worse in the process. So th <laughs> this was eBay. This is one of those. The seller had a decent amount of negative feedback. Um, I wasn't that worried about it. All right, let me get this out of the box before I knock everything over here. Okay, well, uh, spoiler alert, it's the, <laughs> it's the Volvo. I need to like back up the camera here. Um, so this looks like A return I believe that's what that green label there means um, so if I had to guess this was probably purchased off a pallet and then uh, you know this guy sells them on eBay so don't really know what to expect the the end was just open like this so we're gonna have to go through and kind of count the bags and stuff now look worst case scenario this isn't complete I'll kind of catalog what isn't there the main things that aren't if the hubs not there or something like that and I'll reach out to the seller and request a partial refund. And, you know, even if this box just had a bunch of bricks in it, you know, like not Lego bricks, but real bricks, PayPal's always going to side with the buyer. So that's why I don't shy away from people with negative feedback. And most of the negative feedback was all from just after Christmas. And they were all saying Christmas was ruined. <laughs> the box was opened. The box is in bad condition. Uh, at least for this one, it was well uh, described in the listing in the description that the boxes were open damaged blah 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 but i will still ding the seller because there is absolutely no excuse in 2023 or 22 when i bought this to not take a picture of what you're listing they expect children to have a smartphone <laughs> to control this set yeah children uh look uh, yep yeah, 11 and plus and you know this guy can't be bothered to take a picture of the set so i'm still gonna have that to say Oh, wow. Good Lord almighty. Um, uh, okay. So this box. Oh. This is nuts. Okay. Oh, drop a tar. Like, just this inner box is <laughs> huge. And the tire rolled under the desk, so I guess this will be a 5x5 uh, five five instead of a 6x6. Six six. So here's our instructions. This looks to be sealed, I think. Looks pretty sealed. And our stickers that I won't use. And our tires, so that's one, two, three four, five, and one under the desk. So those are all there. Oh, I think this is all bag ones here. And uh, this is sealed. This should have all the electronics, I presume. Yes. So, XL motor. L motor, uh, perpendicular angular Technic motor, something another. Uh, I didn't have one of these, so that's basically why I bought this lot to check out this motor, see what it's like. And I'm guessing this is going to be one with screws. Yep, it's it's a screwed hub. 
<laughs> uh, Technicab. So at least all that was sealed. That's a good sign. Um, so we know that all the bags seem sealed. I would just worry that one of these bags jumped out at some point. I might can look online and see somebody else unboxing this or on uh, maybe Reddit or something. I don't know if I can look and see how many bags there were, but I might just start building it and uh, see where I end up. <laughs> okay, now I got to get all this crap cleaned up so we can continue. <laughs> okay, so now we're into sets that are together. This is one I picked up from my younger brother. He bought this used, I believe, on like Facebook Marketplace or something like that. It was honestly very, very dirty when I first got it. I completely disassembled, cleaned all the pieces, did the best I could with the stickered ones. I didn't exactly throw those in the sink with everything else, or the motors, of course. Um, but this is a Power Functions 4x4 off-roader. It is four-wheel drive and four-wheel steering, which is pretty cool. And... Um, I put in some lights. <laughs> uh, so we've got two sets up here. And also notice, look how these look. Look how these look. I guess, I don't know if there's two different versions or if the plastic is degrading on these. It may just be two versions. They definitely look different um, in real life. And then I've got them on the, up here. And even a couple in the back here. And of course, this has so many good pieces. You've got the uh, portal axles here. Uh, you know, the drive comes through here, and that really helps with ground clearance. Um, I've got some real RC sets that have portal axles like that, uh, and some decent suspension. But uh, I guess the main reason I picked this up is I wanted the official Power Function servo motor. So eventually I will need to take it out of here so I can do some comparisons against the third-party ones I've been buying, and I may even try a couple other brands of uh, Power Function servo. But uh, we'll get there when we get there. So that's that's the... I don't even remember. So many of these sets just are 4x4 four four off-roader something. Or like extreme off-roader. Um, so I'm not really sure on all the names on these. <laughs> so this is another 4x4 four four off-roader. Probably extreme in some way. Um, this was purchased used on eBay. Luckily, they didn't use hardly any of the stickers. Um, they used these that say the no step. And they actually had the stickers on the hub for like A, B, C, D. Uh, I was able to take those off pretty easily and get them cleaned up. And <laughs> there's that. Um, the only piece I found missing was this little, uh, that little guy right there is missing on this side. So all in all, that's pretty good. Uh, it was shipped disassembled. And I actually filmed opening this, but uh, I just, so much of the things I said in that, I've already said in this video, so I'm just gonna, I got some B-roll if I need it. So this one has four of the uh, red shock absorbers. We've got two XL motors and a large motor. And then we've got more wheel hubs. These are not the portal axles, um, but you know, just a lot more parts like that and, and uh, the universal joints and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'd like to get a little more speed with this maybe. This would be fun to drive around uh, with my controller. This might be the one that I keep together. Um, where all the others I'm going to build once probably and then scrap for parts. Um, let me clean up my mess here. Okay, so that's the uh, even more extreme off-roader, 4x4, whatever. I don't know the name of this set. And I also got the transformation vehicle, something or another, I think it's called. Um, it's called that because it transforms into another one. <laughs> this was new in the box, but it was, uh, I got it on eBay for like 100 bucks, where it's normal, it's 150 retail. So, you know, if you keep your eye out, you can, you can, basically find anything uh, below retail. This has two large motors and the uh, Technic Hub. For some reason, I thought it was XL motors. I don't know where I got that idea from, um, but it's kind of fun to drive, but this relies on the Technic Hub's um, gyro sensor to tell when it's flipped because it reverses the controls on the remote. I'm not sure if there's a maybe a Pybrix program that would, would integrate all that and the maybe the train controller. 
I might look into that before I, I take it apart, but um, it also has all these little rubber pieces in the treads um, to give it more traction, and I didn't have any of those either. So that was another reason that I picked this set up. So not a set I would normally buy, um, but all in all, it definitely came with some pieces that I will find useful. And to end this all off, we will come for full circle. This is the other one I bought for my younger brother. Uh, this is a set that he bought new. And even when he bought it, I was like, hey man, if you, if you get tired of it, let me know. <laughs> or uh, no, I think he, he asked me before he bought it. Um, so this is another one I'm probably gonna keep together because I want to be able to use the locking differentials from my FlySky controller. So I'm, I'm hoping somebody can help with that. So in hopes of that, I'm keeping it together. <laughs> Uh, this is a set that has three L motors, the Technic Hub, of course, and then it's got a WeDo 2.0 uh, simple motor. You know, it doesn't have an encoder or anything like that, and that's what actually locks the differentials. Um, it's a very slow set. Um, maybe I'll do some mods to this later on as well. So that's where we're at. That's the current state of things. <laughs> and believe it or not, I have something off camera upstairs uh, that'll be probably the, my video next week. Um, it's an old set. That has been upgraded to powered up so i'm excited to share that i'm sure there's going to be more of this stuff coming and you just never know where i'm gonna what direction i'm headed in next um, i'll see a squirrel and, and go chase it <laughs> so if you subscribe because of my train tutorials which are actually do pretty good that's some of my best videos on the channel i'm sure a squirrel will dart from that direction eventually and i'll get back to doing some train tutorials <laughs> So thanks for hanging out. I got to go upstairs and start building stuff. Well, I got to edit this video, obviously, but, uh, and also a, another shout out and thanks to PMC and Nico, uh, for allowing me to use the footage in this video. Now um, they have, both have some very inspiring builds, so you should go check them out. Thank you for watching. Remember to play well.